Hello Cancer and welcome to your Astro Flower Reading. This is brilliant. I'll tell you what, all the water signs have had this card here, and but you're the only one to have it in the middle and the overall energy. Things are really turning the corner for you water signs. And in, it seems like especially for you Cancer. This is the overall energy that's playing out for this. I love seeing that card in the middle because so many things become possible. Uh, it's... Yes, looking like a good change of fortunes for you, uh, Cancer. Uh, and you will notice it. You will feel it in every aspect of life uh, by the looks of things. And that's what I feel for you as well. I really do feel this is going to be a really good year for you. You've just come out of your birthday. You should be starting and working on certain plans in your life. Uh, and those sort of plans now, you're going to start feeling them a lot better. You're going to be able to sort of like... Um, you know, quantify them and start sort of putting them into place so you can really push it for going forward. Let's just see what's going on here. Is the Astro Flower? Welcome to it. If you're already part of the Astro Flower family, thank you very much for supporting this channel. If you want to support this channel, just need to subscribe and click that bell. It's very easy to do and it just shows a good support for us and much appreciated. And so the Astro Flower here, which is a massive concept. Uh, you've got your um, relationship side, your emotional side, which is on this side, and then you've got your money and your financial side on this side. Uh, this is the overall energy, the karmic messages, and the general outcome as well. So let's just get straight in here and let's see what's going on on your uh, relationship side. I'm already getting, I can't wait to read this. It's going to be brilliant. Uh, you know, you're a crab, you you you've got that shell that protects you from the outside world and you don't want them to see, you know, you don't tend to let people see your inner soft being inside. doesn't mean you're not sensitive and stuff like that because you are hugely sensitive, Cancer. You know that, I know that. Uh, and, you know, that whole sort of like, you've got the, you know, your, those legs and the cloth, you know, you like touching things, you like sort of like feeling um feeling your way through life you know it's it's a very tactile tactile is that the right word i think so tactile way of living you know what i mean so um yeah it seems like that sort of way and it's to say here it's sort of saying cast away that that shell you know and and move on uh it seems it's holding you back some of your preconditions that you, you've got within you seem to be holding you back more than anything else and you could it's it's, it's a liberating experience <sighs> seven of cups you procrastinating you doing a lot of that a little bit mm, should i should i should i shouldn't i you know uh, you know at the end of the day seven of cups there's no real choices there's just one evident path. There's only one cup giving you that water, that, that emotional side of life that you so desire. And once you realise that, just go and get it. Why would you wait? But in order to get it, I think you need to expose that softer underside of the crab. So allow your uh, emotions to be felt by the people that are around you. And it's maybe a case of just expressing it and sort of saying, I feel like this and this is how I want life to be. And I think this is, it will come, it will force the end of any procrastination that you'd be coming in. Should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? Uh, within relationship. And this could be with family, friends, community. This could be with your partner. Uh, and this could be with any future partners. And this might mean, you know, getting a future partner and stuff like that. Uh, if you're looking for a future partner. Uh, it's stopping that procrastinating, allowing yourself to expose yourself emotionally. And if people want to tear you apart, then you know that they're not for you. And you don't have to wait around for them to sort of like stick in the knife. You can just go ahead and sort of say, well, yeah, OK, obviously we're not we're not meant to be. And just move on, you know, you know from there. But I think expressing yourself, it's been very similar for Capricorn as well, which is the opposite to you. Uh, over the last sort of like two or three weeks. And I think this is more, this is the case for you as well. Let's just see how the universe is trying to sort of influence that sort of like karmic message on the relationship side. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? 
we got this, we got this, we got that, we got loads of things. We've got everything you could possibly desire. You know, that's what it's sort of saying. Hmm. Five of Swords, walk away from those headaches. If you want something, you've got to go and get it. And, and sometimes going to get it means you need to walk away from some people who may not be ready to love as yet. And they, as much as you may like them, and this could be anything, this could be a platonic relationship within your family, your friends and your community, but it also could be with your partner or any future partners. You know, if you're, um, you know, if, you, if you're walking towards these gifts or these possibilities of this future, it's a case of walking away from things that are, that may have been causing that may cause you headache. And if anyone's going to get involved in that sort of thing, <laughs> cancer's the one. You know, they you get stuck in there, cancer, and and maybe you shouldn't. Maybe this week here, and this is that change of fortune for you. Maybe this week here is just not getting involved in the things or people that cause you headache, and just let it float by. Just let it roll off your back, like the water rolls off the back of a crab. You know what I mean? Just let it roll off and just don't, just don't get triggered and don't get involved in it. You know, uh, and, and that's when, when you don't get triggered, that's when you can lift up and you can see those opportunities ahead of you. It looks like it's going to be really nice. Let's see how the guys are trying to influence that karmic message anyway. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a blocked news. Um, let's just see how this, this what's going on there. It was another water sign. I forget which one it was. I'm not sure. I think it was Pisces. Um, and it was sort of saying, you've got to put out in order to get back. And I think this is talking about emotions here. And I think your guys here are trying to help you with by coincidences that are around you, situations that's going to help you, that are going to come to the surface and going to help you to express your emotions. And I think this is what your guys are trying to do. Three of Swords. Um, I think they're recognising uh, where you might be emotionally stifled at the moment. And where your guides are recognizing that, that's where they're asking you to walk away from things that are complicated. And you may be procrastinating about this because obviously you're a very loving person, uh, Cancer, and you care a lot about your family and your friends and your community and obviously your partner. And it might be difficult, but if the person is not ready to love, you want a hiding for nothing. Is it, is it worth doing? This looks like a decision week for you, Cancer. There's something, there's, there's something that's just going to go, do you know what? You know, I, I love you dearly, but you can't, you can't love me in return. You can't let your love out. You can't express your emotions. We can't have that tactile sort of relationship and it's just you know and it could be it could, as i say it could be with family members it could be friends community and it could be just a case of a break uh a bit of space or it could be just literally walking away but i think it is walking away from things that you find conflictual in order to find those special gifts within your life you know Okay, let's just see how the guys are trying to influence that sort of conversation that is within you. They're being quite feisty. Sort of saying, you don't have to put up with this. <laughs> That's what they're advising you. That's what how they're sort of like, you know, with the conversation within you sort of saying, yeah, you don't have to put up with this. You really don't have to put up with this. Um... Yeah, and I would, I would be, I would, I would listen to them. They're trying to build up your confidence here. They really are. They're calling you to a mission. Nine, eight, Knight of Swords. They're calling you to a mission. It's a very quick thing. And I think once you start listening to it and you start moving towards that and away from those complications in life, that's when your fortune's really going to start changing, and you're going to notice it. I think you'll find in your monthly readings, which will be linked at the end of this video. 
uh, at the end of this reading, I think you're going to find that marrying your uh, emotional side of life and your financial side of life will be really satisfying. And it's going to give you a goal, a real raison d'etre as you move forward. And I think if you listen to those inner voices that are trying to build up your confidence and trying to get you moving on, because that's what it seems to be like there at the moment. A bit of procrastination, which seems to put you in a conflictual sort of situation that's given you a bit of heartache. You don't really need, uh, to be honest. And, uh, you know, I would follow those that inner voice within you and head towards sunnier climes, as it were. Let's see what's going on on your financial sort of side of life. Steady as she rolls, steady as she rolls. It's like, uh, it's like a ship in fog and you're the captain. You know where you're going. You don't necessarily have to have that rate. As long as you haven't got any icebergs around, you'll be fine. You know what I mean? Like the Titanic. But what I'm saying is, is like, you don't have to worry so much about where you're going. You, you sort of know it. And it's sort of like, you know, you don't have to go full speed. I think it's a case of being very much more steady and almost conservative in your life. Oh, look at that. Like conservative in your life. And then the chariot comes out. Maybe it's a case here of like, the karmic message here is maybe it's sort of saying... You need to mix it up. Maybe you have been too steady. Maybe you've been caught in that fog. Which is the Seven of Cups as well. Procrastination and stuff like that. And I think this is case of here. Maybe the, the karmic message is kind of saying, put your, you know, put your foot to the floor. You know, and so the message I was getting when I'm reading it, and I'm getting through that sort of like steady as she rolls, steady as she rolls. It's gonna it's gonna change, and this is this is in the August reading as well, and also for the fact that you're in your first month after your birthday, so things are really evolving for you, and certainly evolving for you on the financial side of life. Yeah, there's a card that just fell out there, so I'm gonna keep that. Uh, we're gonna get the message from the universe at the same time, but um, yeah, the karmic message here is is quicken your space, it, it quicken your pace if you want to get the victories out of life. You're going to have to step up and start converting. Yeah. Okay. Let's just see how the universe is trying to influence that karmic message. What is that? What is security? If it means you're not living. So what's the point of being secure in your life if, if you're gonna get that, just that sensation of, I'm not living. I'm just not living like, yeah, I'm okay, I've got a job, everything's fine, my business is ticking over, it's not really going, it's going all right, I'm covering, my, you know, I'm getting my money, but am I really enjoying it? That's what it's sort of saying here. Yeah, you've mastered your situation, you are the master of what you do. Uh, obviously, you, you're a very intuitive business person um, and very good at seeing how to put things into place. And you're a master at that. And as things, if you're going to put, if you're going to put your foot in the accelerator, and I think you should do, if you're going to put your foot in the accelerator, these masteries that the universe is recognising within you, you've got to play to your strengths. If you play to your strengths, then you will get a lot more out of life. And I'm not talking about just money. If you're looking for a job, if you're playing to your strengths, you will get that job. So in order for you to live that life, because that's what this month is all about. Tying up um, that relationships or the emotional side of life and the financial side of life. So it works in tandem. One is helping the other to express and explore and expand you know, and evolve in life. Let's just see how the um, guides are trying to influence that karmic message. I can see the sun, I can see the sun. That's what they're sort of saying. It's almost like a kid sitting in the back of a car and it's sort of kind of going, I can see the sea, we're there, we can see the sea, like going off on holiday. 
and they're really enthusiastic. It's really quite nice. Uh, and they're, they're, it's almost sort of kind of getting, go quicker, go quicker, let's get there, let's get there, let's get there. And I think that's probably ties into that sort of chariot card as well. And it's, it's you know, you might have been driving for a long time to get to that beach and it's like kind of sitting on the um, freeway or the, the the motorway and just kind of like, the, oh God, this is, doesn't stop, it goes on forever. And all of a sudden you're into the smaller roads. You may not be going as fast, but you'll get that sensation of going faster because you're going round bends and everything like that. The environment changes around you and things. I think this ties in as well to the fortune card. You know, the excitement of that child coming through. King, or Queen of Cups. Allowing that emotions to connect in your job. And I think it's a, once you realise that, you realise that you, you are the master of your own boat. You are the captain of your ship. You are the master in your life. You've got those understandings. You know what you should be doing. You know how to do things. Um, it's coming in quickly. And it's just a case of now allowing your, not necessarily your passions, but more sort of like your emotions to flow with it. And when your emotions start flowing with it, that's when the success is going to come in. And it's like pushing a car to get it started. I think this is the, the, the part where you push the car. And I think this is where your guides are really kind of going, come on, let's play, let's play, let's play, let's play. Let's enjoy, let's explore, let's expand, let's evolve. That's what it's sort of saying here. And I think that's where you can, you can really shine and allow for that change of fortunes to happen within you. Let's just see how the guides are influencing that conversation with you, because that was really important on that side. Let's see how what's going on here. They're pointing you back to here, I think. And they're pointing you back to the coincidences. And they're almost like sort of like helping you to concentrate on the on the present, on the here and now and enjoying that moment. But not only enjoying it, because within that enjoyment and that here and now, there is opportunities. And if you can uh, recognise those opportunities, that is where your change of fortune is coming in for you. OK, so. Nine of Wands, yeah, I think this is it. They, as I said, they're silent. They've got those boundaries, those healthy boundaries around you. But also, she's put up those boundaries. The Nine of Wands has put up those boundaries because she's also heading off on a journey. She looks very similar to the King of Wands, uh, but also, yeah, to the King of Wands, where the, the King of Wands is walking off with a with a, holding a, a staff with a flame on it, with a lion behind him. And I think it's very similar to that. It's that preempting stage. And I said, you know, within the monthly readings, the 20th and between the 20th and 25th, a lot is happening for a lot of signs. And I would be very attentive to that. It could be earlier than that. It could be from anything from the sort of 17th, 18th. But I think for the majority of people, it's around about the 20th. But it could tie into the also the space weather, the vibration, the universal vibrations, which we go into on Cymatic TV, which is linked in the description below, along with your Astro Flower book as well, which you might want to see. Um, so, yeah, I think this is there where they're, they're keeping silent and they've got those boundaries in place so they don't allow you to just go wandering off because a lot of things are going to be happening on the financial front. They don't let you go wandering off on tangents and keep you concentrated on just exploring of what things make you tick in that financial world, because it's going to make you a lot more um, successful in your life. Uh, and this could be to do with your job, your business, your projects, or anything like that. So let's just see what the overall outcome for all of this is. Oh, it's very hot. It's like someone's just lit the, the, the touch paper, you know, or or literally lit the bonfire and it's it's really coming through there. Uh, passion and passion and passion. What was I saying about the monthly readings to tie in the emotional side and the and the uh, the financial side of life and you get the Empress. I think that turning of fortunes is that realization that I could live exactly 
not exactly. But I could live the best example of me or the best example of the harmonious situation between your relationship side or your emotional side and your financial sort of side. And I, and you know, it's, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's, it's connecting that body, mind, and spirit. That's what the Empress is all about. But also, she's pregnant, so this this possibility of tomorrow, okay, and that ties in with that wheel of fortune. And I, th I've got a funny feeling you're gonna realise by the end of the week that things are on the move, and they're moving a lot quicker than you thought. And you should be stop procrastinating on your relationship side and really start being honest with yourself honest with your emotions and allow your emotions to flow out. There you go, Cancer. Absolutely beautiful reading, really. And yeah, really nice reading for you. Um, you know, there's loads of links in the description below. Go and knock yourself out. If you want to support this channel, the best way to support this channel uh, is uh, by subscribing and clicking that bell. It's very easy to do. Clicking that bell apparently is really important for the algorithms of YouTube. Uh, uh, but if you're already part of the algorithms or if you're already part of the Astro Flower family, another way of supporting this channel is sharing this video across all the social media platforms uh, that you're on. Uh, also, it could be just simply liking this video or commenting on the video. It'd be really nice to see that support. Uh, yeah, once you get into the rhythm of the Astro Flower, it's, the Astro Flower is a, is a lot bigger concept than just these sort of tarot cards. We will be doing videos on Monday and Tuesdays and Wednesdays going forward, which is explaining a lot more about the different aspects of the Astro Flower. So, uh, you know, watch this space as it were. In the meantime, Cancer, don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy.